All right, folks. The Lada Stridsforden Tier 9 Special Swedish Tank Destroyer. It has the iconic siege mode, but the difference or the caveat is the 120 for the main gun, not a traditional 105. So this thing packs more of a punch than an S tank while sniping. Kinda reminds me of the recent Kampfpanzer Project 07 HK with a bigger gun and somewhat smaller of a chassis though kinda looks the same right? Doesn't have the wedge shape like the STRV 103s, it has the remote control machine gun and the groove for the gun barrel. So the lack of a breech chamber in the back right here, very similar to the Kampfpanzer. Right there. Also the remote control machine gun, but this thing only has a 105. Nah, 105s. I want a 120. Better yet, I want a 150 for this for the S tanks. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, but it's pretty nice. Also doesn't have a weird inverse siege mode debuff for the gun. So let's take a look at the stats, but firepower wise, 420 alpha for a bigger gun. Blaze it, but 290 millimeters of pin for APCR and 330 for high explosive anti tank. So, like the traditional 105s, but you have more alpha. Siege mode gives you better DPM. What? It doesn't happen. It only happened on the super test for the original S tanks, but they nerfed it. This thing has better DPM in siege mode, better aim time. Not as good accuracy, 0.35, that is crap compared to 0.2 something for the actual S tanks, but it's okay for a larger gun. And that is the main spotlight of this vehicle, the main strength is a bigger gun I guess, but it already has 10 degrees of gun depression without entering siege mode, and 12 elevation. So you can move this gun like a UDES-03 at tier 8 practically. Interesting, but it has more gun depression. It's at tier 9. Huh. Gun traverse speed is moving up and down, so not that much of a deal. And gun traverse angle. What? 4 degrees? What the hell is this? It can go down 4 degrees or to each side? No way. I have no idea what the hell turret traverse angle is. I, it's either 10 degrees of gun depression at the front, which is more likely than 4 degrees, but is it to each side? Like 2 degrees to each side. That would be crazy if you can move the gun around, like a pseudo turret. Alright, 40 rounds, not bad for a larger gun. The same loadout for crew in terms of commander, driver, and radio operator. Top speed of 60, uh, siege mode only goes down to 20, it's alright. Reverse of 40, so slower going backwards, but horsepower per time ratio is not as good as the German counterpart, but it's alright, 19. Hull traverse speed is very quick, 50. And turret traverse speed is moving the gun, so the same 16 degrees per second. You can enter siege mode for 4 more degrees of gun depression at the front. And 5 more degrees of elevation, but it's not as crazy as the German, obviously. So you get more gun depression using the hydropneumatic suspension, but switching to siege mode is quick. Switching out of it is also pretty quick. It has more health than on average and 40mm traditional slope armor at the front. 20 for the sides, 20 for the rear. Turret is miscellaneous, that's for the gun. And 360 meters of view range, which is 10 more than the German counterpart. Radio is standard. It's surprising how so much better this thing is compared to the Kampfpanzer 3. How much did I rate this thing? I wonder. Did I rate it like a 5 out of 10? Let's see. It's not that long ago, so it's pretty recent. Last month, or yeah, it's last month or so. 4.25 to 4.5 out of 10. Wow, that is uh, kind of low, but you can see you can elevate the gun without turning into siege mode. That's the upside. This thing has two upside. You can gun depress without entering siege mode. 
so you can play this thing with 0.4 accuracy and 12 seconds of aim time. But if you go into siege mode, that's like that's like what, freaking 3,000 DPM. <laughs> that's pretty good. So overall, less ammo count. Obviously, you have more gun depression. Obviously, well, what the hell? Yeah, more gun depression supposedly without entering into siege mode, but. 9 plus the it's only 11 degrees of gun depression or 12 that sucks yeah that's not that good compared to 14 all right that's also also faster switching into siege mode more health less armor by five millimeter but that doesn't that doesn't matter that much if you're sniping more view range radio is already good enough more pen that's a big deal 22 more millimeters of pin is crazy. So this is a good medium tank or heavy tank gun at tier 9. This is the traditional S tanks 105's pin. So you want about 300 millimeters. Also more alpha by 100. And more DPM in siege mode. Now the DPM of this thing in non-siege mode is not half bad. About 2800. But... Eh, 0.36 accuracy compared to 0.35, obviously not as good. Alright, in-game stats, let's take a look. So, with a 100% crew firing in non-siege mode, it's already 2,200 DPM. If you turn into siege mode, that's about 3,000. I did the calculator thing, it's pretty good. Now, horsepower per time ratio is not as good, 16.55. You lied about the horsepower per time ratio again. <laughs> 380 horsepower for about 23 tons. You lied about the horsepower per time ratio again. It's only 16.55. So it's not as fast to move about. But it has a bigger gun. An overlapping road wheel design. Similar to a Panther tank. For a larger gun support. Obviously. But... What? Proofread! Come on, guys! Proofread! Your crap! Your horsepower per time ratio is already off again! Radio is for the crew bonus, so not that much difference. View range is the same. Camo is off the charts. 26% baseline without equipment or skill. That is nuts! That is pretty good. Holy crap, that is real good. Uh, it weighs less than the Kampfpanzer. Yeah, it weighs about 40% less than this thing. Why is it so heavy? Why is it about 40 tons? Jesus. Also has a less powerful engine, obviously. 900 compared to 380, but... Yeah, the horsepower time ratio is not as good as the German counterpart. Same goes with the top speed of 65 to 60. Yeah, it's not as fast, but hull traverse is pretty quick. 52 degrees per second compared to 30, 29. Ugh. Health has more. DPM obviously doesn't count. There's a difference. Duh. But let's take a look at concealment. Oh, this thing already has a decent concealment. It is like the 103s a little bit. I put it right here. So it has the same camo about as the STRV-103 without camouflage pattern or the equipments but 60 or 26 for the baseline percentage camo that is so much better than 22 or 23 or so has the same baseline view range that's good this thing is stealthy holy crap with a big gun the only downside is you're you're not as accurate in siege mode 0.35 and it's slower in terms of horsepower per ton ratio they mess up on the horsepower per ton again <laughs> okay come on guys proofread all right fine but you don't really go anywhere fast while you're in combat right i mean if you're getting spotted you have to reverse pretty quickly but uh, unless you want to get into sniper position quickly, there's no really that much need of 20 horsepower per turn. 17 or 16 is already 
fine enough, in my opinion, but... I mean, it's about the DPM and the penetration for a tank destroyer, sniper tank destroyer, so... Would I rather deal with 0.35 accuracy compared to 0.31 or 0.3? You have the pen to negate the inaccuracies, but... I think I'm fine with it. I mean, I play my S1 a lot. This will be like a bigger S1 practically, so nothing to complain about, I think. Not really. Shell velocity is quick, so that's nice. Same goes for the high explosive anti-tank. And high explosive packs more punch. Only 40 rounds. It's okay. Unless you spam a lot, it's okay. 40 rounds is sufficient for your matching or matchmaking. But more pen compared to the German counterpart, more alpha. Uh, rate of fire is obviously different between siege mode and non-siege mode. It's inverse for the German counterpart, but it fires a lot faster in non-siege mode for the German. But accuracy wise, yeah, it's 0.35 compared to 0.34 into siege mode. So also DPM is a little bit better with a higher alpha, more health. A little bit less armor, but not that much. Traverse speed, repair speed, yada yada, about the same. Engine power compared to weight, weighs about 40% less, almost 50. That's crazy. <laughs> Horsepower turn ratio is the big difference, so it's not as nimble as a German, but it packs more punch, I guess. Top speed is slower. A lot faster hull traverse, a lot faster. Uh, faster to switch between siege mode and non and a lot better camo crazy high camo and better view range and better camo while moving too the camo on this thing is crazy is it the same as a baseline ELC uh, even 90 let's see EVEN 90 baseline camo uh, turn off all the freaking stuff, turn off all the equipments, and feel modification. Let's see. It's only 22! Wow! I thought this thing was a lot stealthier than freaking S tanks, but it's only 22. Well, you keep the camera while well moving, but baseline ELC is not that stealthy. Well, it's stealthy, but it's not crazy stealthy. Huh. Let me try the actual tier 10 S tank without all the freaking stuff. <laughs> turn off everything. Turn off field mods, turn off camo, turn off equipment. Only 23. Wow, that is good. That is real good. What about the tier 5 ELC? I mean, I don't think it's that stealthy, but... Wow, that is good. It's only 21 or 22. Wow! Is it the best camo in the game? I mean, there are vehicles with insanely high camo. It's at low tier, though. <clears throat> it's at really low tier. My voice cracked. Yeah. <laughs> Turn off all the equipments. Voice cracked, 100% uh, crew. Wow, it's it has better camo than a tank cat, than a little little dinky tank cat, the TKS. Wow, the camo on this thing is nuts. Oh, I I like it. I really like it. It's not a premium, so that's a downside, but. Let's talk equipment with a 120, so let's pull up my STRV. So obviously rammer, you want more DPM. You could put something of a unorthodox, like a improved aiming to help out with the 0.35 accuracy, 0.34 with a 100% crew, but I think you could put it instead of a camouflage net. You, if you want a camouflage net, it will be even more stealthier. Uh, you do hmm. Maybe you'll. Nah, I don't want to trade. I'll I'll handle with the 
0.34 accuracy, but I want the binoculars to spot for myself, as well as the camouflage net. So you could trade the binoculars for coated optics, but or you could trade it for turbocharger to make your horsepower per time ratio to go faster. But the only downside to this vehicle is the horsepower per ton and the accuracy. Accuracy you could deal. 0.35 accuracy, 3.4 accuracy is all right. Horsepower per ton is kind of kind of wonky, but the upside is you're super stealthy, very stealthy. So, oh, that is interesting. I like it already. I'm a sniper tank destroyer player, so I like my S1. I like I'll probably like this thing a lot. But field mods, let's take a look. First one is obviously a no-brainer choice, better terrain resistance and suspension durability compared to Hull Traverse. You get better Hull Traverse, effective Hull Traverse with the first one as well. So always choose the first one, reinforce suspension. Better accuracy or aim circle size or aim circle size or aim speed. Um, is that like 2.5? Two seconds. Go with better accuracy in this case. So compared to normal S tanks, you want better accuracy. Aim time is already decent enough, so the same for this vehicle, better accuracy. 0.34 baseline with 100% crew is meh. Alright, view range or concealment after firing. Concealment after firing is already garbage. It's 10 for the actual STRV-103. It's like what? Five <laughs> after firing, so you already have very good unfiring camo. But if you fired the gun, you better make sure switching back to rapid mode and run away quickly. It, it's quick, no doubt, but you have less camo after you fire. It's not that much, five percent is. Not really that much, but just be wary of that part. So I'll still go with more view range. View range is always good. And finally, for the last one, reload time or aim circle size. Uh, because the 103s have already decent siege mode accuracy, I chose more DPM. Now in this case scenario, I think you want to have better accuracy. The cut to DPM is about 100 or 200 so not that crazy so i would choose better accuracy also helps out in non-siege mode combats so better accuracy for this vehicle that will help out with the, the only one downside there's no horsepower per ton ratio buff so that's the only downside but how much would i rate this thing it's very good if it's a premium i'll definitely rate it like 8 out of 10 maybe 8.5 just because of that camo. That camo is the same as a tankette at tier 2. <laughs> ah. Still, it's good. I mean, you cannot let the non-premium status negate the effectiveness of this vehicle. It is super stealthy. It's more stealthy than the actual STRV-103s. Surprisingly. I would say... 8 out of 10? If they buff the horsepower per ton ratio to like 20 or more, then obviously solid 8.5 or 8 out of 10. But for now, I still think it's good. I still think it's very stealthy. Only downside is you might have some trouble getting into sniper position right off the bat, but uh, not that many people are that much aggressive. So you have your time to get to the sniper position. So it's not that big of a deal, but it's an 8. It's a lot better than German. <laughs> it's a lot better than the German counterpart. Oh, the only downside with the German is you get an inverse DPM, which is a DPM nerf in siege mode. So you have to play it in non siege mode for some reason. But it doesn't have the punch, it doesn't have the penetration, lack of a health, so less health, but it has the mobility. It also has the the commander cupola or commander chamber elevation deck weak spot as you can see right here yep that's a weak spot only 25 millimeter 
negating the effectiveness of the sloped armor at the front. So that's a big no-no. But yeah, it's a 8 out of 5. 8 out of 5. <laughs> 8 out of 10. It's still pretty good. 8.5 if it was a premium, but it's not a premium. It's pretty good. Well, there you go, folks. The Lada Stritzforden. I like my S tanks. I think this one will be a big hit with those camping bastards of a playstyle. So I play a lot in this vehicle, 3 marked it, but it's already very good at tier 8. Imagine with more alpha and more DPM at tier 9. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it, especially with a lot better camo too. So that's crazy. But as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.